your splendor and beauty. Stretch out your bowstrings, go forth and prevail in the cause of truth, gentleness, and justice. And may your right hand lead you to wondrous deeds, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is God, who pours his grace upon his priest, his ointment upon the head, which runs down over the beard. The beard of Aaron runs down to the hem of his garment, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is God, who girds me with strength, and has made my way blameless, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. In the greatness of your majesty, you overthrow your adversaries, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Your hands have made me and fashioned me, and enlightened me that I may learn your commandments, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Pascha, in the Orthodox tradition, is not so much giving something up. It's an, an issue of, of discipline and exercise. O God, be gracious to me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me. O Philos, the last defeating of O God, be gracious to me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me. In commemoration of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, always now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. When the Super Bowl takes place, you don't see the athletes just run out on the field and, and, and kick the ball off. What they do is they prepare, and they'll go over their game plan, and they'll loosen up, and they'll do their calisthenics, whatever it is they do to prepare themselves for the game, and then they begin. And so we do this in the church in a similar fashion. Uh, we call this church the Orthodox Church. We speak of orthodoxia, which is right worship, right belief, but there's also orthopraxia, right action. And these services of Lent and Holy Week call us to live the faith, not to simply profess it. journey to Holy Week and then to the, the Paschal service of the, the Resurrection is an, 
an activity that occurs all at once and just kind of falls upon people. What that means is that it's a journey more than anything else. And the journey begins actually before what in the West is known as Great Lent, but in the East is called Imegali Tesara Kosti, the Great 40 Days. So this period of pre-Lent and Lent itself is meant to teach us you know, that we need to adhere to that great Socratic formula of know thyself. And all of this is ensconced within a liturgical book that's known as the Triodion. And the Triodion gives us an indication as to what this season is, is like. Uh, we learn that we're not supposed to judge others, we're not supposed to judge ourselves. We're also taught that it's able and incumbent upon us to repent. The Greek word for repentance is metania, and it literally means to change to change the mind so that we, we rotate 180 degrees and we can become something that is of value not only to ourselves and our own personal salvation, but to become something that is a force in the community, a force of love, a force of change, a force of philanthropy, to do what we are intended to be. Thank you.